Welcome to EPG Patsala on the subject Social Medicine and Community Health. I am Dr. Siti Mishra working as Professor in the Department of Community Medicine Institute of Medical Sciences, Banaras Hindu University. And I shall be discussing the module National Renewal Water Supply and Sanitation Program, which belongs to the paper National Health Programs and Policies. This module has been developed by a team comprising of myself, Dr. D.K. Taneza and Dr. Bhakti Banerjee. The learning objectives that has been set for this session is Number one, to this, after, one, after going through this session, one should be able to describe the objectives and strategies of National Rural Drinking Water Program. Number two, should be, one should be able to describe the objectives and strategies of Swachh Bharat Mission, Grameen. As we all know that Health is basically determined by physical, mental, social environment. Among the physical environment, water occupies a very predominant position. Not only that, our body comprises of 60% of water. Water is required for our, our day to day activity, drinking, and other recreational activities. And unless water is provided in adequate quantities and it is safe for human consumption, probably we cannot ensure optimum health. There are several types of diseases that are related to water. One is waterborne diseases, it could be viral, protozoal, bacterial like cholera, viral like hepatitis and in children particularly rotavirus. Diarrhea is quite predominant. So, supply of safe water and sufficient quantities have been the major concern. In, initially, there was a problem, properly known as problem villages, where a person has to walk more than 1.6 kilometers to take for water sources, and that lead to water scarcity and water contamination. It, be, it has been observed by several countries that health status of those populations are better where there is adequate quantity of water supplied and someone has rightly said that number of functional tapes should be taken as index of water quality. Water supply and sanitation are two basic requirements for human living and for promotion and preservation of good health. Basic sanitation is a necessity. If the sanitation practices are not adequate, that contaminates water too. And that is why Government of India started in the year 1999 Department of Drinking Water Supply under Ministry of Rural Development. In 2010, along with the Department of Drinking Water Supply, sanitation component was also added. This was renamed as Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation. In 2011, Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation was confirmed the status of a separate ministry, and it was named as Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation. All these interviews have been done just to emphasize the importance of safe water and basic sanitation in provision of health of the country for which the government of India is committed. Water supply and sanitation conditions, the government of India has launched accelerated root and water supply program long back and which went through several divisions over the decades. It is currently named as National Rural Water Supply Program with the vision to provide safe and adequate drinking water for all at all times in rural India. National Rural Water Supply Program as a word 
over a period of time. In the, in the year 1972-73, it was started as accelerated rural water supply program. In 1986, underwent into techn technology mission. And the technology mission on drinking water was initiated. All technology missions program got due impetus and due importance because these programs were directly given by the Prime Minister of India. In 1991-1992, Rajiv Gandhi National Drinking Water Mission was initiated. In the year 2002, Trojal Dhara was started and finally in 2009, National the Drinking Water Program was initiated. The idea of initiating this program was to provide educate and safe quantity of drinking water to the masses. The first objective was, has been to assess to and use the of safe drinking water within reasonable distance. Monitor and keep surveillance on drinking water sources. Third, ensure portability, reliability, sustainability, convenience, equity, and consumer's preference. Each and every water is important. Water must be safe, must be portable, but there must be reliable, there must be reliable sources. Continuity of water supply over a period of time and sustainability of the source is important. The source sources should be at a convenience place and as a whole there should be equity issues and other consumer preferences should be taken into account. The next objective has been providing drinking water facilities, especially piped water supply, to gram panchayas that have achieved open defecation free status on priority basis. This was given just to incentivize the sanitation measures in the, by the local self government. Ensure all government schools and anganwadis have access to safe drinking water. Why this done was done? Because school children in particular. And in children in Anganwadi centers, their health is important and, and their health can be ensured by providing adequate and safe drinking water. Besides that, school children in particular, it has been observed that 50% of the messages that are given to them are directly transmitted to the family members. So it can change, the school children can act as a change as it. We have observed that when the children come from the schools, generally they narrate what has happened in the school. Whatever habits that are inculcated in this formative stages of life is taken throughout the life. The best objective has been providing enabling support and environment for panchayat institutions and local communities to manage their own drinking water sources and systems in their villages. It has been observed that Wherever there is a piped water supply systems are there, many times taps are broken. Many times it has been observed that hand pumps that are given, so given installed in a rural area, they are not in working condition. And therefore, panchayat raj institutions rule become very, very vital. In maintenance of these raw water sources, in conserving, uh, conserving the water which is being wasted, the next objective has been to provide access to information through online reporting mechanisms and information placed in public domain. It is important that we should know that what is happening in our country in terms of this important initiative and that is why the progress made, the facilities provided must be put in the public domain. Under this program, Certain goals and strategic plan of action has been involved and this strategic plan refers from the year 2011 to 2022. The idea has been to ensure that every rural person has enough safe water for drinking purpose, for cooking purpose and for other domestic needs as well as livestock throughout the year including during natural disaster. It has been worked out by expert group that on an average, a person will need 55 liters of water per day. 
It was also envisaged that by 2022, every rural person in the country will have access to 70 litre per capita per day within their household premises or at a horizontal or vertical distance of not more than 50 meters from their household within barriers of social or financial discrimination. Individual states can adopt higher quantity norms such as 100 meters per capita per day. Revised norms and criteria has been evolved also. There has been always emphasis on pipe water supply rather than on hand pumps. The reason being that in hand pumps, a lot of energy is also involved, and generally, young girls and women are involved in managing water from these sources, and that is why their health is jeopardized. Enhancement of rural water supply from the norm of 40 litres per capita per day to 55 litres per capita per day to meet the daily requirements. It is also insist that by 2017, at least 50% of the rural population should have access to 55 litres per capita per day within their household premises or within horizontal vertical distance of not more than 100 metres, with at least 30% individuals household having their own connection. This distance business has been brought in the ambit of water supply because if the distance is more, the source, then people generally come, come, collect limited amount of water. They make compromises in using water and once that is done, the quality of water is likely to be geopolitical. In the, another important point that need, needs to be considered that Water storage practices at household level is very, very important. It has been observed that most of the contaminations also, also do take place at household level and therefore water should be kept in a clean vessel, for particularly for drinking purpose. It must be covered. The ladle used use vessel should be used for taking out water from this. The next norm and criteria has been greater coverage for water quality affected habitations and continuum of supply, adopting 24 hours strategy for 7 days wherever possible should be done. This program has several important components. Component number one, coverage for providing safe and adequate drinking water to unserved, partially served or slip back habitations. Number two, sustainability to encourage states to achieve drinking water security at all at the local level. Number three, to provide potable drinking water to water quality affected habitations. If that, if that is not done, then there will be outbreaks of many waterborne diseases. This is also vital during disasters, natural disasters or man-made disasters. Operation and maintenance for expenditure on running, water cost, repair, replacement cost of drinking water projects. Water quality monitoring and surveillance mechanism, particularly at the district level and other support activities. Uh, these are the important, some of the important program components that the program has envisaged. The program has also considered various other important issues. Considering the wide variations across the country, Government of India has ensured that flexibility must be provided to the states. To choose the components under which funding is required, we can't go by a blanket approach. We have to take into the cognizance the local problems and the quantity funding facilities, need based funding facilities should be ensured, and therefore, decentralized planning in this area becomes vital. Drinking water to be provided to every public place by 2012 30. And it has been observed earlier that at many public places there is no safe drinking water source, and that becomes a health risk. Drinking water facilities to be provided to the floating population by installing steep 
stand post particularly in the summer months many people search for water sources and they adopt water sources which are not safe for human consumption and they that becomes a cause of concern and that lead because that leads to them to various diseases in the fitness of the objectives of 12 five year plan foster growth inclusive growth sustainable development in this area also the marginalized population women especially those belonging to civil caste civil tribe other backward caste will constitute at least 50% of the members of gram panchayat village water and sanitation committees there is a urgent need to activate village water and sanitation committees which has been recently going to be renamed as participatory councils in the village level so that marginalized section of what people should not suffer on the area of water in the provision of water facilities uh, there should be no compromise in terms of both in terms of quality and quantity then incorporate other components like monitoring and surveillance surveillance refers to monitoring and plus action so simply monitoring water quality will be not enough. Wherever there is a deviation, wherever the water quality is compromised, surveillance mechanism should be brought into, and we must evaluate the program from time to time against predetermined objectives. In fact, evaluation is the degree of achievement against. So, in a time because since the time frame, the strategic frame has been worked out from 2011 to 2022, we must. Ensure that we are going on the right path on the basis of measurable indicators, and if necessary, mid-term corrections should be undertaken. Management information system is desired to be involved because that will inform the program managers where they stand in terms of this research related to safe water supply, communication strategies, and what is their impact is desired. and all different uh, uh, different initiative development initiatives should be converged to get optimum dividend the objectives uh, are for this is monitoring and surveillance of all drinking water sources in the country by active involvement of community so community based monitoring and surveillance mechanism has to be evolved decentralization of water quality monitoring and surveillance Of all rural water, the water resources in the country is needed. Why decentralization? Because then, the, once it is decentralized, then sense of belonging comes. People will realize that they are doing for themselves, and that is the desired thing for ensuring safe institutionalization of community participation. an involvement of panchayat raj institutions for water quality monitoring and surveillance desired generation of awareness among rural masses about water quality issues why this is important because unless people understand that why they need safe water in what is the importance of adequate quantity of water and what are the various diseases or consequences related to unsafe water in terms of arsenic poisoning in terms of water borne diseases like bacterial diseases cholera bacterial diseases protozoal diseases giardiasis and viral diseases like hepatitis a general not make changes in their behavior and things will go wrong problems related to water borne diseases are taking importance in any large of large number of water bodies including even even big rivers are getting contaminated and therefore it becomes pertinent that awareness building programs initiatives should be taken so that people understand the importance of water quality and 
should take in, initiate necessary measures. As I said earlier also, just to reiterate it, that most of the water gets contaminated in the home. So domestic water storage practices was also becomes very pertinent. Building capacity of panchayas to take up full responsibility of operation and maintenance of all drinking water sources in their respective area. Hand pumps have been installed. Water pipes are there, but many of them are non-functional. So, if it, it is an outside agency is doing these repair business, then it takes time. And since panchayats have been given the responsibility for managing these things, it will can be done within limited period of water quality testing. For that, lab services are needed. Say how to take sample, who will take sample, where it will be sent, and what will be done if the reports are adverse. These issues have to be taken into account. Training of, man, of human resource in these areas are vital. Information education and communication activities for creating demand driven strategies for water quality and water quantity and monitoring of the entire program in terms of safe water supply, in, in terms of maintenance of the various systems related to safe water supply is desired and reporting of entire efforts are needed. Last but not least, funding is a key issue and that has to be taken into account. Just now, we have discussed about water related issues. If you look at the various components of environment, one is most important thing is the housing. Housing has been discussed somewhere separately. Then water supply and there are four F's. The acronym F, first F is fecal disposal. And for that purpose, provision of sanitary latitudes is desired. Then solid waste disposal, fly, that second F refers to fly control, and that is closely related to solid waste disposal. The third F is food hygiene, and that entirely depends on the hygienic conditions and, and sanitation conditions prevailing in a particular area, because house fly density goes up and that's the house fly sits on the food and transports various diseases, foodborne diseases. And last is finger hygiene. So after defecation particularly, or during preparation of food, or during serving of food, finger hygiene becomes important. So hand washing, which has been promoted by WHO, the methodology has been evolved. So people need to be educated about the practice hand washing practices and how one should do effectively and was So sanitation area becomes of paramount importance because three-fourths of the water, surface water sources are polluted. 80% of the pollution is due to sewage alone. So sewage disposal in rural areas and in urban areas, open field defecation has been quite common in our country and this has to be curved. In fact, we have to eliminate open field defecation. We have to convert insanitary latins into sanitary latins and also the manual scavenging, if it is a verbatim scavenging, that should, has to be stopped. So, Central Rural Sanitation Program that has been launched to improve the quality of life of the rural poor, also to provide privacy and dignity to owners. Because in rural areas, open for defecation has been quite common and that was affecting the privacy and dignity of the women. The program underwent several modifications over the decades. And lastly, it has named as Swachh Bharat Mission. The Swachh Bharat Mission he had evolved over a period of time. In 1986, Central Rural Sanitation Program was initiated 
and 22 metamorphoses and in 1999 total sanitary campaign has been initiated this was converted to nirmal bharat abhiyan in the year 2003 after 2003 there was a period when we started national rural health mission this national rural health mission had besides the reproductive child health disease control program it was addressing to the basic determinants of health like sanitation and nutrition component and lastly we had swachh bharat abhiyan which has been started with several aims and objectives the first aim has been to stop total open field defecation second objective had been uh, objective and aim had been that we should convert all insanitary latrines into sanitary ones and third has been eradication of manual scavenging and there so and so on there are many many aims have been we had been stated the objective of this program has been to bring about an improvement of general quality of rural life in rural areas by promoting cleanliness hygiene eliminating open defects the present government is paying lot of attention on this issue lot of measures have been initiated people have been awareness campaigns have been started and it is it is ensured that where the person is whether inside house outside house on the streets in offices in schools in colleges in transport systems general cleanliness hygiene should be ensured and everybody has to say no to the open field defecation we have to accelerate sanitation coverage in rural areas to achieve the vision of swachh bharat by 2nd october 2019 that target has been set we have to motivate communities and panchayat raj institutions to adopt sustainable sanitation practices and facilities through awareness creation and health education so awareness creation and health education has been identified as a very strong instrument to bring out behavioral change communication in the area of sanitation in the area of adopting healthy practices in the area of saying no to the open field defecation then one has to encourage cost effective and appropriate technologies for ecologically safe and sustainable sanitation for sustainable de- development ecological considerations are very vital and technology can appropriate technology has been considered as an instrument for provision of primary health care besides intersectoral involvement and community participation that should be encouraged develop where required community managed sanitation systems focusing on scientific solid liquid and liquid waste management systems for overall cleanliness in the rural area compost pits were earlier there but that has been uh, a, a disposal of solid waste disposal in urban areas a lot of procedures have been initiated because dumping of solid waste is a very big problem in urban area and also in rural area efficient mechanism must be involved the strategies for for moving towards such bharat by providing flexibility to the state governments financial flexibility have been accorded even implementation the flexibility has been accorded to them because each state is in a different phase of development implementation framework of each state will be prepared with a road map of activities why road map because that will tell us precisely the direction on which one has to move and also tell us precisely whether there is a lag or we are to the person, a particular state is moving in a particular direction covering the three important phases necessary for a program planning phase planning is a blueprint for action 
planning gives us a direction. Then whatever has been planned, whether it is being implemented properly or not, so implementation phase. And third is uh, the sustainability phase. Say for example, that a particular program has run on a uh, nice manner for a long, for a small period. And then we find that the program is going in the right direction and then we stop financial financial inputs and that then comes the sustainability issues. The components of the pro program are startup activities and it is well said that well begin half done. That philosophy operates here also. Startup activities should be taken in the it is well planned, probably the studies activities will be taken in the proper direction. For behavioral change and communication, information education activities have to be, have to be undertaken. This information education activities may employ different channels. For example, we are using mass media. There are visual uh, clips available through TV and also through radio involving top personalities in the field to promote sanitation, to promote safe drinking water and so on. So IEC activity it becomes important. In fact, in public health practices, there are three approaches. One is a legislative approach. So government of India has already initiated several, several legislations to take care of environment. Another is pro providing services. And for service based, many initiatives have been taken. But the last but not least is educational approach. In fact, if educational approaches are initially there will be a delay, but once it takes off well, probably it will uh, go on for a long period and it will modify behavioral changes in the people and that will be big difference. Capacity building is very important. Construction of individual household latrines and also to ensuring that these latrines are being utilized. So water and latrine provision both should be there. So people find it to maintain it clean and then they use it. Provision of revolving fund in the district for maintenance of these operations is required. Microfinancing for construction of toilets. Maybe maybe various approaches have been time for right from time to time. And once people realize the importance of lat latins, then if it is where it becomes their need, they understand its need, then probably whatever latin is constructed by the government will utilize properly. Community certainly complexes must be promoted. The distinct advantage will be that there will be no space crunch. Maintenance will be easier by lower cost and probably utilization will be more. Equity and inclusion. The talks plan has always said about inclusive policy. It means those who are marginalized, those who are disadvantaged, they must be brought into the umbrella of the total so overall development, whatever it is. Solid and liquid waste management, both in urban and rural areas, is a challenging task because of sinking land areas and then there are various administrative issues, particularly charges, that for that there should be a system of provision. Now, if anything has to happen, then there should be implementation mechanism. And this program, particularly related to water and sanitation, they have, there are institutional mechanisms and levels. In this area, National Swachh Bharat Mission is there, there. State Swachh Bharat Mission is there. State Water and Sanitation Mission is there. And District Swachh Bharat Mission. And lastly but not least, we have Block Program Management Unit. And which manages all the programs at the block level. But, and then Gram Panchayat, Village Water and Sanitation Committee. Village level Water and Sanitation Committee has a very important role to play in provision of safe water in order to optimize 
in talks given for sanitation government of india has started a program called nirmal gram puraskar and this is awarded on the following grounds number 1 gram panchayat have adopted a resolution to ban open defecation within its entire area all habitations within the gram panchayat jurisdiction have access to water for drinking and sanitation gram panchayat has achieved objectives for all components entered in the uh, mis of the ministry of drinking water and sanitation the 12th plan goal is that 50% of the gram panchayats will attain the nirmal gram status by the year 2017 just to summarize national programs launched under the ministry of drinking water and sanitation national rural drinking water program strategic plans have been evolved from for the year 2011 to 2022 prepared for drinking rural drinking water sector to ensure that every rural person has enough safe water for all needs within a reasonable distance water quality monitoring and surveillance program is in both focus has undergone a paradigm shift from water supply in the village to water security at household level and ensuring quality quality issues have been brought in because that take will take care of most of the water bond water was another village issue swachh bharat mission has been initiated to ensure adequate sanitation objective is to improve general quality of life in the rural areas by promoting cleanliness hygiene and elimination of open field defecation thank you very much for visiting epg parks